What's up everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are actually not on Revan Tuli, because I know a bit of a surprise, isn't it? But we are out here on Tiawaroa because this map has had so many changes. Just so you all know, I've only been on this little edge right here and this lake, so this map is the majority completely unexplored for me. Um, I just wanted to kind of show off a lot of what has changed on this map. And we have Red Deer here drinking in the daylight, early morning, 6 to 10, Red Deer time. It's amazing, guys. Red Deer absolutely everywhere. And oh my god. Hi there. That's a level 9 Red Deer. Well, let's just go on ahead and shoot him right there. Um, yeah. So I had been to this lake the other day, and I did not see him there, but that's the small rack level 9. What the heck? I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. I, I For real, like, I don't even know what to say. Okay, well, I mean, we'll take that. Um, but I was going to say we're going to go down here and check this little lake, which is supposed to be pretty good. And we're going to check a couple places for red deer. Um... I want to check fallow deer because I've yet to do that. I think the main thing that I really want to show off though is the river because it is covered in animals. Um, they're feral pigs, turkeys, and um, oh shoot, what are the other animals? Turkeys, feral pigs, and European rabbits are all over the banks of the river. It is just unbelievable. Feeding out in the middle of the day, it is great. This map has had so many changes, and they are all very good. So, let's see if we can find where our level 9 is. He should be dead right over here somewhere. There's the blood track. Alright, not bad. Well, y'all got to see my live reaction on that, because I had no idea this guy was here. None whatsoever. So, let's see how bad big of this rack he'll be, because sometimes they're bigger than others, but a 253.5 diamond red deer, and oh man, with those shaders, holy smokes, that looks so good. Wow, that looks amazing. I'm not even talking about the rack, I'm just talking about like how the harvest screen looks. That is unbelievable. Wow, guys, that is so cool. Let's go. Hey, I mean... I don't know, I'll take a level 9 red deer any day. Let's go, they always look good in the lodge. Alright, so let's see what we've got. We have some over here fleeing, I think because I was within render of them when I fast traveled. So that caused them to spook. But we've got big stag up there. Got a little stag there. Um, more over this way holy smokes look at all these red deer look there's a mythical he's got an interesting looking rack um what we got there more red deer just all over the place guys this is unbelievable there's another mythical holy smokes they're just red deer everywhere it's a big level seven and we also have another drink zone right here. So I want to run around the lake and see what's in this one. I will go on ahead and say I think the only thing I'm even a little bit bummed about on this map with the changes they made is that um, Shammy don't have drink zones anymore. Well, I will just go ahead and say, I think the only thing I'm even a little bit bummed about that they changed, um, holy smokes, that's a massive red deer. Um, but the only thing I'm even a little bit bummed about is that the chamois don't have drink zones anymore. Other than that, I am super excited for this update. Let's go ahead and shoot that guy, because he's a beast. That's a big mythical. Um, let's see if there's anything else over there, but yeah, I'm kind of bummed that Shammy lost their drink zones but I guess they wanted to maybe I, th I guess Shammy don't drink much in real life um so they wanted to make that seem a little bit more realistic so let's go on ahead fast travel back over there and pick up our mythical and then we'll just keep checking a few more spots for red deer 
All right, and here he is. Let's see how big he was. And a 235-229 kg. That probably could have been a troll legendary. Definitely not bad looking, though. That is a really interesting one. I've never seen one like this that the rat just goes, like, straight up. I've never seen that before. That is so cool. I mean, his rat just goes, like, straight up. i got to get a screenshot of that. That is so cool. Let's go, guys. Let's go check some more places. I mean, we've just got red deer all over the place. Like, just, I just, I, I don't even know what to say. There's just so many. I would like to find a rare, though. I'm surprised we haven't found a rare hind yet. There's just so many deer. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't see any more in this Bay of Rest area. So, I don't know. Maybe go check this spot down here. And then, it's not going to be much longer. We're just going to go find some fallow deer. So, yeah, I can confirm that this lake is no longer the best one anymore. One red deer stag on this entire lake. That is it. So yes, this is no longer the great red deer spot that it used to be. Which is a shame because it's a pretty cool looking lake. But let's go take a look over here at the river. I want y'all to see what this looks like. Alright, so here's the river. And I don't see anything out here right now. Oh, look. There's a turkey up there. Are there any pigs? I know there were pigs out here earlier. Look at this. We got more red deer. Um, What time was the pig feed zone at? 6.30 to 10.30. They're just a little bit further this way. But look at this. I mean, we, just, we got more red deer over here. Like, what the heck? I don't even understand. It is so unbelievable. Um... Let's fast travel up to this lodge and take a look at it from this angle. Maybe there'll be some more stuff feeding over here. Well, I'm not seeing the feral pigs at the moment. We might run across them here soon, but I am seeing red deer again. Just more red deer. Just, I mean, just, I don't understand. Red deer, absolutely everywhere. Um, oh look, there's more red deer. There's another mythical. Big seven, six, we got red deer over there. I mean, this is just unreal. Another max weight estimate, red deer. I think the pigs were up in that area over there. But I mean, this is just unreal. I think this map is by far going to be one of the best now. A lot of people used to rank this map a lot lower, I think, than it deserved. Um. See if we can see those pigs. Um, uh, they're probably up over the hill. That's why I can't see them. But uh, yeah, we're going to go check out another part of the river as well. So here we have some feed zones. I just, where I spawned, they didn't spawn in. But we have feed zones right here for, what is this? Fallow deer. Feeding out in the open. Pretty interesting. So... Definitely not bad. I think those are all females. We won't keep running this way. Maybe there'll be something up over this little hill right here. Oh, there's turkey track. Um, is there anything up this way? I'm not seeing anything on this corner, which is a little odd. But, uh, yeah. I mean, this is just... I think it's pretty sweet that there's so many red deer on this map. Um, I don't know. I think it's a great thing. I think it'll really make it a little more viable uh, for the red deer grind. It already was the best map for red deer. Look, we already have another feed zone right here. There goes some fallow deer males. Not bad. But just, like I said, two feed zones right here. If you were running on the other side of the river, you could see them easier. But just feeding out in the open, no big deal. So I'm not seeing a whole bunch of red deer right here. I expected to see some on this corner. But that's okay. We might try and change the time for fallow deer and uh, see if we can find them drinking. Okay, so we now have turkeys over here. This was not an area we ever had turkeys before. Ever. Turkeys were usually pretty strictly in the center part of the map 
Oh, there we go. Fallow deer. Not bad. All right. Pretty good. Got fallow deer there. I think fallow deer are really going to be in a lot of the spots they used to be in. I don't think much has changed with where they were from what I've heard. Um, it's really just fallow deer are still going to be on the uh, east coast, I think. And I think Sikas are going to stay on the west. Um, they just have probably changed the frequency of the zones and maybe how many animals are in them. So I don't know. We're going to run probably to right down about here. And then we'll go up and check this little area. And then actually I'm curious if there'll be any of them drinking on the river or if they're strictly on the coast area. Oh, and real quickly, for those of y'all interested, the fallow deer drink zone is from 10 to 1300. So that's going to be the new fallow deer drink zone. Instead of from 830 to 1130, it's 10 to 13, which honestly I think is a pretty decent change. Okay, so it, good. It looks like fallow deer still do drink on the river. Okay. I don't mind that. Look at that, though. European rabbit burrows. Right on the river. I think that's such a good thing. Is there going to be any fallow deer over here down this way? But, uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's pretty good. I'm glad they kept them in similar areas. At least I know where to go and find them. So, I just want to see if there's any up this way. There's a tiny male. But yeah, most of the zones, they don't seem to be... That's like the biggest one I've seen yet. So, they don't seem to be very large zones. And honestly, I don't have any issues with that. So, alright guys. So, I did finally figure out the Sika Deer drink time. And it is the same time as Fallow Deer. Okay, so Sika Deer are also going to be drinking from uh 10 to 13 and this is also a seek of feed zone which i think is kind of cool so they feed from 6 to 10. also look at some your rabbit burrows over there so definitely not bad see some torkeys 9 to 11 7 to 9 then i saw some seek a deer over here behind the bridge yep definitely not bad I'm going to walk around the corner and see if there's any up this way. Alright, so we have some more Sikas out here. And there's one. There's some little females. That's a dark spotted, I think. Are there any more? Ah, there are. Look, you there. More Sika deer. Alright, and I tell you, this is another thing I love that they did with this update is they made it so that all the animals now drink um, near the water. Like, they're all drinking out here, or they're really close to the water when they're drinking. And one of the main things that helps you do is at least um, even just see them um, in the first place. Instead of them drinking up in the brush, it really makes a big difference in your ability to find the animals. And I think that was a, another great little change that they made. And as y'all have heard me say before, um, I think EW did a really good job in this update of just the little things. And that was something I thought was pretty good. Oh, but looky there. So we have feral pigs resting. We had a turkey down here somewhere. There he is. Going defensive. But yeah. We got feral pigs over here resting, but they're resting close to the water, which is good because it means you can, like I said, you can find them. You can actually see them. So, tell you what I would give to find an albino sika deer right now. That would be so cool. But, uh, I mean, they're just little sika deer all over the place. Emphasis on little. Um... <laughs> But yeah, definitely not bad. I am so happy to see this. All right, and there we go. There's some Sika deer. And like I was saying just a little bit ago, I love how they're drinking close to the water. I think that's a great little change. So yeah, definitely not bad, guys. Um, Y'all want to come and check Tiara. I'm telling you what, there is some good stuff on this map right now. I mean, we just, I mean, we found the diamond red deer. Without even trying. I didn't even know he was there. I'd been to that lake the other day and he wasn't there. Or at least I hadn't spotted him. And uh, he was there this time. 
So, I mean, I definitely recommend going and checking Tiara. If you see a Tiara multiplayer server, might want to just give it a shot. I don't know. Um, yeah, definitely not bad. Just want to make sure there's nothing else right in this little area. There's a couple little hides down there. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it, guys. That's all we wanted to look at today. So, we learned today that Seekadir... They like to drink out in the open now, and they're really easy to find. Uh, red deer are just absolutely everywhere, and fallow deer have kind of been spread out a little bit more. They're in the same areas, the zones are just not as heavily populated, which isn't an issue. So I think they did a really good job with this, and I cannot wait to see what good stuff we find on this map. So, with all that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.